before this video even starts, I want to make one thing clear. This video is not judging the actions of those based on their political party. Its hypocrisy does not discriminate against any one party, and bad decisions can be made by anyone. California is in a state of emergency according to Gavin Newsom, to the point where we need to wear masks for universal indoor activities as well as in situations of very crowded gatherings where social distancing is strongly encouraged. This past weekend, the game between the 49ers and the Rams was played to see who goes to the Super Bowl in two weeks. As much as the focus was on the Rams going to the Super Bowl, Newsom got equal attention for not wearing his mask in a picture with Magic Johnson. To me, to take the mask off simply for a picture, I don't see an issue as if you were actively eating and drinking, the mask would be off for much longer. Even Newsom said in his response that he had his mask off for a brief moment as Magic asked him for the photo with his mask in his hand. I was very judicious yesterday, uh, very judicious, and you'll see the photo that I did take um, where Magic was kind enough, generous enough to ask me for a photograph, and in my left hand's the mask. A bit swear. And I took a photo. The uh, rest of the time I wore it, uh, as we all should, uh, not when I had a glass of water or a thing and uh, encourage everybody else to do so, and uh, that's it. It's coming to light that he was lying, and I'm sure it's not about Magic Johnson asking him for a photo, but someone who was close to Newsom said he was not wearing his mask, and photos have surfaced of him not wearing his mask at different points of the game. Box 11, I know you um, probably want to make that the last word on this, but given your history with this issue, should you maybe have reconsidered taking the mask off for the photo for the the image, the message that it, yeah, that it might no, send? I, yeah, I mean, of, of course. I was trying to be gracious. And I made a mis you know, I mean, I was trying to be gracious and took the mask off for a brief second. Brief second. Brief second. Brief second. Now I encourage people to continue wearing them. Newsom's initial response was, I was very judicious. But that means having, showing, or done with good judgment or sense. And you can argue that for the photo, but what about during the rest of the game? On the SoFi Stadium's website where the game was held, it states that masks are to be worn at all times by all individuals unless eating, but once they are done eating, to swiftly be put back on. Again, this is what Newsom set in place for the entire state of California, including within SoFi Stadium where he was during the game. If you watched the game, whether being there in person or at home, I'm sure you noticed the lack of masks being worn by the fans in the stadium, including the celebrities they showed on TV that were in attendance. I understand that is not within Newsom's control what is shown on TV for the game, but you're the one putting the mandate in place. And with how serious you make this out to be, I do expect you to at least try to enforce it, even in person, even during the high stakes game, because the disease doesn't take six days because there's a game going on and as soon as it's done, it jumps back into being deadly. Many shown not even with their mask pulled down, they're just not even wearing a mask at all. Only Leonardo DiCaprio showing to actually wear a mask but pulled down to talk. However, the rest were without a mask not even with one in hand to put back on once the photo opportunity was done. As the person who put the mandate in place, if you feel it to be such a serious issue, why are you not taking it as serious as you make it out to be? You are not above the law and should be held accountable and punished under the law the same way as any other person. You may feel like a sovereign citizen that wants to pick and choose what rules to follow, having a rule for thee, not for me mentality, but you are a public figure that puts rules in place to not only secure votes during election times, but to get more lobbyist money, which is loosely like legal bribery but you are supposed to lead by example. However, that's obviously not your strong suit. Remember the dinner party with health lobbyists he attended with his wife, 12 people in total, no masks or social distancing, with rules of no more than three households or select group in one place, he didn't follow the rules he set in place then either. Let's not forget when Newsom mandated students and teachers to wear masks at school events, then sent his kids to basketball camp and never wore masks, to which the camp stated they wouldn't enforce it and he conveniently didn't see the email. And when schools were shut down due to rising cases, he said his kids were getting at-home schooling, but sent them to an in-person private school. There seems to be a pattern with him. And in case none of you were aware, he has also made it a test trial mandate from the beginning of January to the beginning of February for healthcare workers to have to return to work if they are without a fever, but COVID positive. Even if they show other symptoms aside from a fever, meaning the healthcare workers in hospitals could have the disease without you knowing and must work and risk spreading it to their patients, threatening everyone's health despite having the very disease they are trying to not spread all because there's a shortage in healthcare workers, with many places not only giving incentives to new employees and nothing to current ones. No pay raises, no hazard pay, literally nothing but you have COVID, you don't feel sick? Nope, you can't quarantine or take time off to feel better. You need to come back to work while you're sick. See you on your next shift. Wear your PPE to not spread what you have to your patients. I wanna just say this, because it's important. Today is an important day. 
on a 14.5% positivity, which is a very encouraging sign. Remarkable that 14.5% positivity would be considered an encouraging sign. Uh, but we are seeing a significant decline in the number of um, uh, confirmed cases of Omicron. Uh, we're seeing a decompression now of our hospitals uh, and ICUs. We're actually seeing a declining number in hospitals and ICUs. Um, and we are working actively, as I think I've previewed to a number of you, on an endemic plan, not a pandemic plan in this state. And I keep previewing it because I'm very enthusiastic about the progress we're making with this draft. In the next couple weeks, we will be releasing that endemic plan. And to backtrack for a moment for the healthcare workers issue, let's start from the beginning of that. He first had a mandate put out that all healthcare workers must be poked, as in theory, this would help to slow the spread of the disease and hopefully keep people safe. The result was the number of healthcare workers on all levels of employment started to decline as so many were quitting or being fired for not following the mandate. In time, as the number continued to drop for healthcare workers being employed across the state, as the shortage grew to be more of a concern, there were no incentives for those already employed to remain in their jobs, no hazard pay, no bonus or pay increase for continuing to work through the pandemic and even their vacation time was, and still is, being cut as the shortage continues to worsen. The only individuals getting any incentives are the new hires, and with this, more of them with the needed experience continue to quit, leaving the weight of the work to immediately fall on the new hires, many coming straight from med school and seeing the overwhelming demand of their jobs as the patient loads exceed what is both recommended and legal. Now becoming desperate for workers, the temporary mandate for all healthcare workers to work and care for those who are sick while also being sick themselves. The idea of importance before being the prevention of the spread of the disease, to now throwing that out the window as the importance of the lack of workers seems to exceed the importance of actually doing what they can to retain talent and handle the situation properly. He went from punishing those that weren't poked, seeing that it didn't work, and when in desperate times called for desperate measures, now punishing those that are poked. So no matter where you are on the spectrum of pro or against, he's punishing the healthcare workers regardless. For the critics I say, I want my healthcare workers poked so I know they're safe. Doing so only benefits the workers themselves, not the spread of it. For example, if you use a chainsaw and get sawdust all over you, then you go to a store, and in time, the sawdust starts to come off from either wind blowing, from touching something with sawdust on your hands, or someone brushes up against you. The ability to transfer it is still very possible. And even for those that say the workers are completely covered, even so, they still need to touch the outside of their clothes in order to put them on. And if they have the disease, the ability to transfer it is still very possible. And this isn't a for or against poke video, but rather putting the reality of the situation out in plain view, as wanting to live in a safe space bubble isn't going to help realistically solve this issue, as the truth is what needs to be discussed, not one's feelings on the truth as a whole. So as you can see, this isn't just one incident of Newsom's bad judgment. There's a very specific pattern here to really look at and to see that his character, his actions, and his priorities aren't on the California citizens and their well-being, but with what fills the lining of his pockets. So which is it? Are we in a state of emergency that all need to be mandated to wear our masks? Or is this nowhere near as serious as you make it to be, as you yourself willingly choose not to follow your own rules? We as people need to hold others accountable. And for those saying, so you are pro-mask? Regardless of how I feel about masks, that is a deflection from the main point. And also people saying, well, he is poked and boosted, so... That's irrelevant to the point of this video. You can be poked or not poked. The issue is feeling above the law and wanting to pick and choose which laws to follow while punishing anyone else that would think the same. Hold them accountable, not just Newsom, but celebrities too. Anyone with influence over others, hold them accountable, as this is not just the problem of the middle working class, but sickness and death doesn't discriminate based on literally anything at all. Governor Newsom, go f yourself. And YouTube, don't suppress this video because I'm talking about a serious issue. Just because many people could be offended and or not like what they're hearing, that doesn't mean that they are in the right. The truth should be at the forefront of the conversation, regardless of how individuals may feel about it. And if they are offended, maybe that's a sign that change is not only necessary, but needs to start happening. The sooner, the better.